What's up everyone? Today I'm going to show you how to make this awesome flexible foam wearable cosplay prop with materials from SmoothOn, so check it out. We're going to be starting with a, a Lazy Susan and a piece of melamine board. This will allow me to rotate the board as I make my model. Um, to construct the model, I'm going to use a mailing tube cut roughly to about the size of the piece that I'll be working with. And uh, I'm going to use this to uh, sculpt the model using materials from SmoothOn. So first off, I'm going to hot glue the mailing tube to the melamine board. I'm also going to seal the top of the lid. Now I happen to have this scrap piece of insulation foam, which I'm going to cut into smaller pieces. And I'm going to add this to the mailing tube. The purpose of this really is to just to occupy more volume and, uh, and give me a working surface that I can sculpt uh, the uh, material onto when I'm making my model. Once the structure is secured onto the baseboard, I'm going to use a Sonite Wax. Now, Sonite Wax is a paste wax, and uh, I'm going to um, spread this wax uh, around the base of the mailing tube and across the entire surface of the melamine board and this will help me separate the model from the board when I'm done. To make our sculpture today we'll be working with a gallon unit of freeform air. This is part A and this is part B. Freeform air is a lightweight epoxy putty system mix ratio for freeform air is one to one by volume. So you take an equal amount of A and B and you mix it by hand like so. Now as you are mixing it by hand, you want to check it from time to time, make sure there are no streaks. And you want to mix it until you get a nice uniform color consistency. The putty should be light gray when you're completely finished like this. Now. I'm going to take a little bit of water and I'm going to apply that to the surface of the putty. This will allow me to uh, adhere the putty to a vertical surface very easily. So I'm going to use that to press the putty um, against the surface of the mailing tube. I'm going to repeat this process to create my model. And as I work the putty across the surface of the tube, I'm also going to take uh, this simple sculpting tool and I'm going to use that to uh, add intricate details into my model. I want to do this when the putty is still very malleable and this will allow me to make uh, the details very easily. You notice that I dipped it with water when I first put the tool into the surface of the putty and that just helps it uh, glide along the surface very smoothly. Again, we're going to build up more uh, uh, epoxy uh, to create the model. And as we do this, we're going to add detail along the way. And as you can see, it's very, very simple to add detail to the putty. Now, freeform air is very, very lightweight. When this putty cures, it's going to be an extremely lightweight model. Now, here I'm adding uh, some more. Uh, putty to the top of the model and this is will allow me to sculpt the fist at the top of this model. Now freeform air is extremely light and very uh, easy to work with so it does not fatigue my fingers which is why I like this putty a lot for making these types of sculptures. Um, it's very much like working with clay that hardens to a very hard resin material. Now here is our finished sculpture I'm going to let this cure overnight and it'll be ready for mold making. Tune into the next part of this series to find out what materials I use for making the mold for our model.